Hello everyone, this is Bean from the IONT. Now that we're under Soon Studios, we are committing to become more transparent and open with the community. We'll start by going over where the game is at its current state, and what is still a work in progress. The majority of our UNSC weapons have been reworked over the last few months. The assault rifle even has an ammo counter now. You won't have to keep DMing us asking us where it is. There are still a couple guns left to go, but we prioritize the weapons that we consider essential to the core Halo experience. Everything else is just a bonus. Moving over to Covenant weapons, they've also gotten a fresh coat of paint. In the early days we had trouble nailing down the style for Covenant weapons. Recently, however, we develop a more cohesive style for each of the weapons to share. They still look like the weapons you know and love, but now it looks like they actually came from the same faction. As you can tell, the Covenant weapons are fully modeled, textured, animated, and everything in between. All that's left is a bit more in-game tweaking before we can call them truly finished. Something that isn't quite there yet is our dual wielding. We've confirmed it in the past, but we've never actually let you see what it's like in action. Here's what it looks like as of May 2018. We'll be finishing up dual wielding pretty soon. Our weapons aren't the only thing that received a facelift. Customization Installation 1 has been expanded to include more individual pieces than you've ever seen in a Halo game before. Each section of the armor can be changed to your liking, from the classics like shoulder pads to smaller things like forearms or thighs. We really tried to go all out with the level of control you have over your character. If you've been following our weekly updates, you should already know that our menus now look like this. What you haven't seen is the crazy number of game type options that will be available. Of course, everything you remember in the original games is returning. You can edit pretty much any aspect of the game that you'd like, and then save this variant and share it with your friends. Or share it with your enemies. Or share it with your enemies, but don't let them play it. The possibilities are truly limitless. Maps are one of the largest part of Installation 01, and they're constantly changing. We've added new ones, revamped and recreated old ones, and have, unfortunately, even cut out some of them that just didn't come out as great as we would have liked. Obelisk is the most obvious example of this ongoing evolution. The version at the forefront of our cinematic trailer was mostly brown, bland, and boring. The last three B words you want your map to be described with. So we tossed it out and made it look a little something like this. The shores of the island actually resemble a beach now. It's not just some pile of dirt in the middle of an ocean. It's a pile of sand. We also want to unveil a brand new map. Well, new to Installation 01. Let us introduce you to Factory, our remake of Halo 3's classic, Foundry. Foundry is special in that it was the first ever Blank Forge canvas. Factory is our first Blank Forge canvas as well. While we're not quite ready to show off Forge mode just yet, you will get to play on recreations from some popular Foundry Forge maps from the past. It's time to kick that nostalgia into the highest gear. Normally we only like to show you things that we've actually finished, but we want to make sure that our original maps play well before jumping into them feet first. The team wants to hear your feedback, and the closed alpha will be an excellent opportunity to do so. You'll be able to play on three of our original map blockouts. Judgment, a closed quarters midship style map. Goliath, a mid-size FFA focused prisoner style map. And New Order, an urban medium to big team map. We still don't have a date for the closed alpha. That's just how these fan projects roll. Rest assured, we're working hard to build an authentic feeling Halo experience, and you'll be able to get your hands on it soon. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you at least got some insight into where Installation 1 currently is. Oh, I almost forgot to mention we had a panel at Phoenix Comic Fest. This panel was not only Installation 01. It included other fan projects like Black Mesa, Fallout 4 New Vegas, and Wolves. You can watch that video in the near future. Don't forget you can also follow us on Twitter, at Installation 01 and our website, installation01.org, to get our weekly updates we've been doing since last year. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for stopping by.